she's topping the list of celebrities whose private jets are leaving the worst carbon footprint. The analysis shows Swift's private jet has already flown 170 times this year alone, despite the fact that she's not even on tour. It also puts her annual emissions at, get this, over 1,000 times that of the average person. But a spokesperson for the singer is pushing back, saying, quote, Taylor's jet is loaned out regularly to other individuals to attribute most or all of these trips to her is blatantly incorrect. So, Kat, it's not her fault. It's the people who she's loaning her jet out to. I'm going to say I totally agree, and that's in hopes that she'll loan it out to me. Because I have made certain to never say anything bad about private jets on TV because I want, I'd like to, I'd like to be Smart. on a private jet. If anyone wants to invite me onto their jet, the only reason I don't pri fly, pri fly private is I don't have enough dollars. So I can admit that, hoping one day that I, I'll have a private jet. Um, uh, of course, it's the hypocrisy is the issue, not, you know, people telling you, hey, you know, your cl climate footprint is so huge. Really, mine's very small. I don't have a private jet. I don't even have a child. So I have a very small cli climate footprint. And I don't want to hear about it from people who yeah. are way larger. My climate footprint, the, the biggest thing may be hairspray use. Hairspray. Yeah. It's got to be a big one. Yeah, probably me too. Uh, uh. <laughs> David, uh, Kat's right. It's not the fact that she has the private jet. She's made the money. That's capitalism for you. Good for her. Uh, She's spoken out against climate change. She certainly votes for people who speak out against climate change. According to the Yard, though, her total, uh, her jet total emissions for the year, 8,240 metric tons. Mm -hmm. That's the equivalent of 16 days straight yeah. in the air. But she's a, she's a celebrity. I, I mean, maybe she's campaigned for green energy and everything. Fine. It's, 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 that doesn't bother me as much as when John Kerry yes. right. talks exactly. about it. He's got his own pot. I think he there are flew, worse offenders. I yeah. think he flew 20 times uh, by by August of last year. So the, the point is that they're worse targets. And, and uh, Al Gore, the Mr. Oh, Mr. Original Green Energy guy, he's, he uses more energy for his house. Uh, I think it's 20 times more than the average American family. So uh, honestly, I, I, I he, cut her a and, break. And yeah. I don't think either one of them would have issues being mobbed by fans yeah. on a commercial. And by the way, to your point, I have never owned a car in my life. Yeah. I'm probably more green than anybody. Exactly. I don't care if you have a jet. Go yeah. ahead and Yeah, you know, I almost feel like her, 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 her people that released the statement, Cheryl, uh, made it worse for her because the excuse was so hilarious. It's yeah. like, you know, just say, yeah, listen, she's got a private jet. She's she's using it. Other people are using it. It is what it is. Uh, but she is loaning it out to people. Why is she doing that? Is she, she's is not it, loaning it out, to be <laughs> clear here. She's renting it out. Oh, I she's mean, making money. Look, I'm a big Tay-Tay fan. I'm going to be honest here. I love, <laughs> I love her. I think she's so <laughs> talented. That's what I'm going to say. I've never heard of her. Yeah. Yeah. The 20-year-old I asked about it. Yes, she's Tay-Tay. But no, but she's renting it out. And this is the business. And they all do it. Like, look, the other offenders on the list were Jay-Z, A-Rod, Blake Shelton, Steven Spielberg, Oprah, but when they're not using these jets, those jets aren't just going to sit there and, and they're not going to lose millions of dollars on them. They rent them out. Oh. You can do it with yachts too, by the way. If anybody else, not me, has the money to do it, you can rent out a yacht from, uh, you know, Bill Gates has been known to rent a yacht from Steve Jobs. I mean, so, like back he in needs the day. Money. So, mm -hmm. but my point is, no, but it, it's it's a business. She's she's a smart girl. Well, she's 32 years old now, so yeah. you know. Make some cash. So, Kat, that's bad news you. for you because that means that you're never going to get the jet for free. You're going to have to <laughs> know, pay for it. But, but, but maybe. Yeah. You maybe Jay-Z. In your wildest dreams. <laughs> Kaylee, David does bring up a good point about John Kerry. Remember when he was questioned about his private jet use and he said, well, it's the only way I could fight, fight climate change. Is people to use like a private me. Jet. He said people <laughs> like me. me. Yeah, really? Yes. I mean, I remember Al Gore had this uh, countdown, essentially. He had a date at which there was no return for the globe, for planet Earth. And Russia Russell Mull used to put it at the top of his website. That date passed. But if you are a climate activist, if you believe in these dates, the countdown clock, right. why are you flying your private jet? The Paris Climate Accord says it should be two tons per year per right. person, carbon emissions. Her jet alone, 8,240 oh. tons of carbon emissions, 7,077 for Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. We're supposed to be at two, and these are your jets alone. The hypocrisy is galling. They don't believe in these countdown clocks. No, it's hypocrisy. It's about yeah. checking a liberal activism box, and you can be a celebrity and brush your shoulder and off. how about former President Obama with his Oceanside mansion? And he, it's, it's in Massachusetts, which is not a warm climate. 
he likes to keep the thermostat. Remember, he used to say he'd keep the thermostat at 80 or 85 because he's from Hawaii originally. So, I mean, you know, there's, there's enough carbon footprint guilt to go around, yeah. particularly among the green energy people. Well, rules for, for you know, me, not for the, not for the, not for me. We haven't said that a while. Yeah, it does feel like some of the biggest climate fighters are the ones with the private jets, though. Leonardo That's DiCaprio true. was another one. That's come, right. come on, guys. Right. What are you doing here? And they never invite me. They never. <laughs> yeah, maybe one day. Well, now, Jay Z. <laughs> Yeah, you, you put that out there. <laughs>